Hey, what's up guys? The Flicks here again. This video is kindly sponsored by Call of War. Be sure to check out the link down in the description box below to get 13,000 gold and one month of premium. Now, let's get started. Alright guys, so in this video we're not only going to finish our latest subscriber game, we're also going to take a look at what other types of games Call of War allows you to play on their website. So I gave you a week 2-3 to three update in the previous video, and I myself was expecting to give you a week 4 update shortly after. However, the game went on and on and on and on, and after almost 60 days, right, it has practically come to an end. So this is kind of like a month 2 update, which is just bizarre. Anyway, so we finished week 3 with a war against Persia, and the mass recruitment that would cost my nation dearly. So what happened? Well, mass starvation across my entire empire. That's what happened. Provinces far away from home rebelled due to food shortages and turned their allegiance to nearby allies, so no critical damage done except for lowering my score and my production capacity far below my allies. Embarrassing, right? So my core territory was still intact and could muster enough troops in short enough time for me to still play a part in the ongoing wars, so that was good. My forces were continuing the advance east and were now fighting Vietnamese troops in Vietnam. Meanwhile, French Sudan was preparing for his invasion of the Americas. This would take several days if not weeks of preparation. So let's go ahead and fast forward a few weeks and behold the near complete domination of Asia. Good job Poland, that's looking pretty sick. Saudi Arabia, Greece and myself, Iraq were also part in the conquest of the Far East. After careful planning allowing for a safe transfer of troops, and material from the African west coast to the east coast of Brazil, French Sudan finally began its invasion, and days later Iraqi forces followed suit to assist in the conquest of the Americas. Columns of Iraqi ground forces traveled across the planet, from Europe to Asia, all heading to Brazil. So we're going to end this game here. I'm sure it'll go on for a while longer, but it's not going to end in any other way than a coalition victory. I started it, I ran it, and I led it towards victory. Then I suffered hardships, and luckily, my allies were there to step in and take over, carrying us forward. Thank you to all the participants for a well-played game. Special thanks to KCLJR, Torpedo28000, BOH9916, and your narrator. Thank you guys for staying loyal to the coalition and our common goal of achieving victory. Alright guys, so here we are on the Call of War homepage. These are my two ongoing games. We have the Call of War Master Rivals, which I will be updating you on shortly. Uh, and here's the uh, game from the, uh, the current video. Day 57, how insane is that? And both of these games are World at War games. That's the only game mode I've ever played in Call of War since day one. But there are so many other games to this game one could say, and today, well, we're going to check them out. We're gonna hit the New Games tab and see what's available. Before we scroll down and look at these uh, starting games here that people have created with their own options and everything, we're gonna just have a brief look at the search options and see what you can do. So, um, there's an all country selection modes, only random or only free selection, uh, that's cool, you do a random one and games, well, Apparently people don't like that because it's kind of risky, but that's also thrilling to have a game where it's just random, you don't get to choose. Or the free selection, which is the most common one, right? Then we have all maps, and this is an interesting bar because this has a lot of different options. You've got the Europe Road to War, that's a 10 player game. You've got the 1941 Mediterranean, Mediterranean Theater, that's a 4 player game. I would assume that's um, Britain, Italy, Germany and possibly France. Not exactly sure. You've got the Europe Clash of Nations. This is a classic. Powerful nations clash in Europe in this classic scenario. Who will win this war and bring peace back to the world? So that's just a, a full-scale European game, I do believe, with 22 European nations. Uh, the rest of the world, I suppose, is locked off. Uh, you've got the 1939 Blitzkrieg, 10-player game. Um, I suppose that's with Germany, Poland, France, the UK, and all that. World at War 100, classic game. This is very popular. Lots of people play this. It's fun, admittedly, but it's a very long game. You've got the Pacific Conquest. That's a 50-player game. Very interesting. 1939, Historic World War. This is cool. This is something I'd like to do sometime, and it seems like people are absolutely playing this. 
In this global scenario, you take control over a country with historically accurate borders in order to achieve world domination. So this is kind of like some Hearts of Iron style game, I suppose, that I like to play. You know, I like to start from 1939 and you have complete Mexico, you have complete United States, you don't have it split up in separate states. You've got uh, Canada, you've got South America, and all of Europe is pretty much the same. Also, you have the behemoth, the Soviet Union, uh, as one entire nation. So that is a lot of, of uh, land to, to take. If I click join here, uh, well, nope, <laughs> let's not join that because I'm not going to be able to finish it. Too much to play in other events, but um, I thought I could see what nations are picked. I suppose the last two that people don't really want to play, I, I don't know, maybe Switzerland or something like that, Belgium, who knows. The English Channel, two-player game. That's an event, so these events aren't active all the time, they start every now and then, so that's possibly why there are currently none going. Uh, you've got the tutorial game, America Homefront, this is also cool. Civil war breaks loose in this alternate history scenario. Unite all fractured American states under your presidency to make America great again. That's pretty awesome too. Um, I'm not. I don't want to join it. Uh, I just. I just wanted to see what kind of states are available. But in a different video, if we make another one, we can do this. We could. We could do an America Homefront game from from you know start to finish. It would be awesome to actually do an American Homefront game with you guys watching. So hopefully that's something Bytro, the developers of this game, can arrange for us. Speed round, that's, I think, a world uh, war, but, or a world at war, but sped up like 10 times or something. Everything is way quicker. Dominion Antarctica. Oh, wow, that's cool. Arms race event. Clash of Nations. A lot of these are events that are not currently running. But we even have way more down here. This is, I mean, this is, there's a lot to this. There's also some new World at War feature. This is 1.5. I'm not sure our game is running on 1.5, but that's cool, man. This is great. So we're just gonna go ahead and do all maps. You've got different team modes here, no coalitions. So these are games running without any coalitions and there's a lot running. No coalitions allowed. So that's like a 1v1 or one versus all or a free for all rather, but perhaps with you know indirect alliances using the direct messages and whatnot, you know, people teaming up inefficiently. Collisions, free teams. Um, you've also got uh, different periods. You've got peace period games where I believe there's a three day peace period or something like that. Um, AI options, supply options, no supplies with supplies. All supply modes. Anti cheat, whoa. All anonymous round options, no anonymous round, only anonymous rounds. Starting when full, running. Finished. Oh, cool, cool, cool. So that is uh, some of the stuff you can have a go at in this game. And I think that's really interesting. I wanted to show you this because I haven't really ever played anything else but World at War. Uh, I'd like to do the historic World War from, you know, day one to finish. And hopefully, if the developers are watching this video, which <laughs> ultimately they are, guys, I'm speaking directly to you. Love, I love Call of War. But it would be so nice to maybe do some smaller games for subscribers to follow um, with fewer players participating, but more active players participating. And also, when I cover it, it would be very historically correct instead of having these smaller states around the world. You'd have the USA, you'd have the Soviet Union, and you'd have all these complete nations fighting. And that would be really cool. Also, another one I'd like to do, which is second on that list, if not first on that list, of course, America Homefront. So I'm gonna click join just to give you guys an idea of what's going on. Um, oof, oof. Um, and I mean, we can kind of back out. I don't think we have to pick this. So uh, we're not gonna take up any spots, but this is uh, north of Latin America. It's Central America and all of North America. Uh, USA is pretty occupied, but we can go in here and see what we've got. Uh, so the East states here have been occupied, Mississippi, Alabama, Georgia. South Carolina, Florida, North Carolina, and Tennessee. The West Coast is pretty open so far. We got North Car California, South California, Oregon, Washington. So it's not 100% accurate with all the states that they have split some up, as you can tell. Arizona, Utah, Colorado, New Mexico, West Texas, and East Texas. I do believe that's for balancing because Texas and California are two very large states. And that kind of does make sense. Um, West Montana and East Montana, same there. Very cool. 
Uh, Canada has been pretty occupied, I do believe, unless we go up here. Yeah, some of these bordering. People like to, people like to be in the edge here, like Latin America, like this state here. Amazonas has been picked. It's just Mexico City and West Mexico open. They're in the center, so they're under a lot of heat. Makes perfect sense. I really, really do think we could have some really nice games going with America Homefront and the historic World War. This is some history channel stuff. Look at that age. Yeah, I like that. All right, guys. I'll see you in the next video. Ciao.